Hey guys, thanks for joining in. This is Phil from Transfer Superstars. So I recently got asked by a YouTuber, uh, DevPak, about some of the equipment that I keep here in stock for maintenance and also to uh, replacement parts. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to go through uh, briefly what we carry in stock uh, just to make sure that I, I minimize any downtime that may occur. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First and foremost, you got to have your print head. So you need at least a print head for every head that's on your printer. For example, we have a four head printer right here. So I at least have a, a four heads that are spare. Um, in case one goes down, I'm able to uh, change that route right away. So definitely a print head is number one on the list. You also want to have some good scotch tape. This is so that you can tape up the ends when you replace your print heads. Uh, I'll do a quick video on that later on in the future to show you how I water seal the print heads. You're also going to need some print head cables. Now there are different sizes to this, so make sure that you guys are ordering the right ones. And uh, again, I'll put a link below to where we source these from. Print head cables is one of the things. Next on the list is going to be your dampers. This is a, one of the first things that goes bad as far as your print head ink flow is concerned. So if you're going to have some leakage or some um, inconsistencies with your ink, then you definitely want to replace your dampers. So these are definitely great to have. I usually keep about 30 to 40 of these in stock at all times. Next on the list is going to be uh, some wiper blades. This is to wipe the print head blades in case it goes out. I have a couple spares of these. I also have a couple of extra spare carriage print head carriages. So this is where your print head sits on top of. This is where you wet cap at the end of the day. Um, it's good to have a couple spare of these because they do go bad and if the metal connection on these are damaged then your print head is not going to sit correctly on top of your carriage. So have a couple of these. They're not that expensive. With that said, you also should stock up on some uh, sensors. This is for the carriage system. The sensor um, detects the distance and it, it actually uh, goes up and down when you hit the jogging movement. So make sure you have some of these. I also have a couple of these pumps. Sorry, they're still in the bag, but a couple extra pumps for your ink in case your ink is not flowing well. You want to have a couple of these spares. I have about three of them. I haven't gone through any in a year, but in the event that it happens, I will have a couple spares. Next, you also want to have your syringes. So these are different size syringes with different size tips. Um, you want to have different size tips because you never know where the problem is going to exist on your printer. Uh, if, you, if you have a, a clog or something that you need to take care of prior to the damper, you want to make sure that you use a sharp tip needle head for your syringe. So have a couple of these extra um, I have a ton of these because if you're using um, any cleaning solutions through this, it does mess up the rubber seal. So you want to have some extra because, you know, a, a good, a, a bad syringe is not going to flow really well. So you want to make sure you have a couple of these. Um, last on some of the replacement parts is going to be a data ribbon. So this is the actual ribbon that goes across the uh, printer. And once in a while, if you have ink that splatters through your, your printer and it gets dirty, it will mess up some of your data that you will see when you're printing. So have a couple extra of these. It's cheap anyways. You never know what's going to happen. And so going to the other parts here, this is a milk frother. So I have another video on this. I use this to mix my white ink on a daily basis. Um, it really, really helps get everything moving so that your lines don't get clogged up, your print head doesn't have solidified ink in there. Um, I highly recommend this. I'll put a link below. I got this from Amazon. Magnets. So magnets are your friend. On your DTF printer, you're full of metal here. I use it all the time that I'm not able to use another hand. I use, use magnets and it holds everything in place. That and paperweight works well. Make sure you have a brush. Um, paintbrush works well. I use this to clean up all the rollers. Everywhere that has powder in it, I'm always cleaning. Make sure you use one of these. It's also magnetic. 
or not magnetic, it's metal, so you can put a magnet. It holds on really well. Have a, ther a thermometer. So, you know, as you know, DTF printing, uh, temperature, humidity, your environment plays a huge role. So you want to make sure you monitor everything and you adjust accordingly to where your temperature and your humidity is at. So make sure you get one of those. Very important. I look at it on a daily basis. A catch can. So you can cut up a regular bottle. This is used whenever you're flushing your inks. Anytime you need something to catch any of the ink flow, this is great to have. Just use a bottle. That works well. Cleaning supplies. So these are non-lint material cloth. These are really great when you're cleaning underneath the print head. So make sure you get some of these. Um, I got these from DTG Pro. Um, I use them all the time when I'm cleaning underneath the print head or cleaning the wiper blades, cleaning the carriage. I use this. And I also use uh, these sponge tip foam swabs. This is also the clean between the channels on the print head. Um, again, I have another video on cleaning print heads. This is what I use. I at least use uh, one for every head every single time I'm cleaning. I, I don't like to contaminate any of my print heads. So make sure you guys stock up on these. So let's talk about solutions. So solution, I have three solutions that I use on a daily, well, not a daily basis, but I keep in my arsenal. First is going to be a wet cap. I use this to dispense my wet cap since I'm, I'm capping daily. Uh, this is great to protect your head. It's great to moisturize your head so that um, anytime you're leaving for a lo extended period, like 10 minutes or longer, overnight or on a weekend, you want to make sure you're wet capping. So definitely get some wet cap solution. And next is going to be a cleaning solution. So I carry two cleaning solutions. They're both from DTG Pro. Um, this is the, they're both concentrated, so I'm able to make a big dose of this. But this is the medium uh, strength cleaning solution which I will use first if there's ever a clog or any banding that I'm seeing I'll, I'll put a link below for this and then I also have an extreme cleaning solution in case I have a, a heavy clog or I have heavy banding I need to soak the print heads again I'm using an extreme cleaning solution just in case that medium solution is not strong enough this is what I go with and lastly I use a, a DTF DTG Pro maintenance solution it's more like a lubrication um, i keep this handy if you're leaving for an extended period of time maybe a week maybe two weeks maybe longer uh, this is the same solution that they use when they ship the printers over after they test everything so it's always good to have this in case your printer is down you still want to make sure that your your print head has this solution in it so that you protect it and you don't let the um, you don't let it go bad while you're you're waiting for your part to come in so this is basically some of, some of, if not all of the maintenance and parts that I carry here, uh, just to make sure that I'm, I'm always, uh, uh, I'm always uh, up to date on all my materials and I'm ready for any solution that happens or any problem that comes arises uh, w when I'm printing. So let me know if you have any questions on this. I hope this video helps you guys. Uh, again, if I'm missing something, let me know. I'll, sh I'll let you guys know what I recommend. Uh, thanks for tuning in to the next video.